Hello my Cancers, welcome back. My name is Psychic Gigi and I'm going to be doing a general love reading for my Cancers. Sun, Moon and Rising for September 1st through September 15, 2019. Sun, Moon and Rising. Okay, please like, share and subscribe to my video so you always get updated on all of the videos that I do post on YouTube. Also, if you would like a private reading with me, my information is listed below. So let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. I've already kind of shuffled the cards. The first card that I have for my Cancers is the Death card, and it is reversed. So some of you have gone through a period where you've kind of let go of some things in around your past, but still kind of lingering this type of energy. Like, I feel like if, you, you know, if you're in a current relationship... There is a resistance for change. So if it's you and or your partner, one of you are just not really kind of changing. Um, you maybe your approach to the relationship. Um, and it's definitely long since run its course. So I feel like some of you have already kind of left this situation, but it's still kind of lingering in and around you. So you want to be mindful of making sure that you let that type of energy go. Um, the next card that I do have for my Cancers is a ma Magician Reverse. Again, this is, could you could be dealing with somebody who's a little bit manipulative, maybe they're not very trustworthy, you can't trust everything that they say, or, you know, you doubt what they say. So just stop doubting yourself in making a decision. If this is you, and this is relating to you, if there's somebody from your past that you're just kind of holding on to and you're not letting go and you're doubting the fact that maybe you should have given it more ch chance or whatever have you, this is definitely a good time for you guys to move forward and just kind of let it go because you need to have your desires and your needs also um, fulfilled in the relationship as well. And the Cancers, you guys are very much so givers and you are always open like you, you forgive very easily. So um, it could also... Again, I feel like there's a lack of trust. So somewhere, if you're in a current relationship or you're in a, or you're in a, a relationship with somebody in your past who's might have come back recently, they haven't um, made any changes. And, you know, they might try to manipulate the situation for their own selfish reasons, reasons as well. So just be mindful of that. The next card that I have is the Ace of Cups. Again, really... This person's caused you a lot of pain. I, I will be absolutely honest about that. So there's definitely been some pain within this person that you've been dealing with. Um, and you're finding it very difficult to maintain almost the happiness. Like you can't find happiness within this relationship. And this person is, again, unwilling and unable to really be open-minded and open-hearted about the relationship. So they might just not be um, relationship material and um, it's definitely something to think about within yourself. The next card I have is the Seven of Cups Reverse. Some of you might be feeling that this sadness that you've had in this previous relationship um, has made you feel like your, your choices are limited um, because you, you're feeling lack of hope, lack of you know, um, lack of strength, really. Um, but there is definitely some reality and some clarity coming in for you guys regarding this particular situation. I also feel like you are definitely, you know, whatever has recently happened, there is a reality check in this, and there's definitely a lesson to be learned. So make sure that we do, um, make sure that you resolve whatever issues that you are going through. Um, don't ignore them. Don't like sweep them under the rug and it's not going to go away. So it's super, super important. And don't limit your, your possibilities in and around you. Because I feel like there are some other options out there for my cancers. But we're kind of closed-minded, closed heart, especially if you're single. So the next card that I have is a strength. Okay, guys, you are strength. Cancers are very, very strong type of personalities. And... We always seem to come out on top. So this is definitely an indicator that I feel like this is a good opportunity for anyone who's single right now. You might end up meeting somebody who's a Leo, um, who matches your strength. Um, this person could be a little bit on the wild side, or this is somebody that you're dealing with. Maybe this is somebody that's from your past that you could be dealing with, and they kind of dominate the relationship because they're very, very strong. So just make sure that you stay within your inner strength as well. This is a good message for you. Don't feel like your options are very limited in and around the relationship because the next card we have is a star reversed. This person can come in fast and quick. 
at times. Maybe they're a little inconsistent. I get this. Um, there's got to be somebody in, in one of, I don't even care if it's just one person that resonates with this reading, but I feel like someone's dealing with somebody who comes back and forth. They give you hope. Then you, <laughs> you feel like your choices are limited, but then you regain your strength. And But at the same time, as you start to regain your strength, you start to lose hope and faith and around love and that's just not the case there's always somebody out there for someone so just be prepared that you need to start healing this is also uh, you know a reminder for even though we have the strength within us cancers there's a reminder for us to start healing um any old wounds or, or old issues that we've had maybe in pre re previous relationships well i can't even talk or this person could become stagnated again, and that's where you lose that hope and that faith. But remember, nobody has, okay, nobody can take control of the situation but you. So this is a good time for my cancers to start taking control over the situation and where you want your love life to go. So the bottom of the deck, I have the full reverse. Again, you could be meeting somebody, or this could be somebody from your past coming back towards you, and it's exciting, and you love that feeling. But it's short-lived. I'm going to be very, very honest with you. They're not ready for a commitment. It could be you and or them. Um, they come in fast. They come in quick. So just be mindful to enjoy it for the moment. But try to just be very light-hearted about this person. If you do, you know, come across somebody, um, just be, be prepared for that fun-filled romance. But also at the same time, just be careful not to miss any other opportunities that could be around you and you're not seeing um to come your way so if this is somebody you're currently dealing with where they have that like really kind of could be a little could be somebody that you're dealing with is a little immature too but maybe they're just a little bit spontaneous they lack commitment and they're looking to come in for that new beginning um so just be mindful of that let's go ahead and do a romance card or the romance card for cancer sun moon and rising through august i'm sorry september well first through the 15th what do we have for our cancers? Okay. Healing some family issues. Okay, I did talk about healing in our um, reading in the beginning, like healing some old issues from our past. So this could be that there is a need to heal some issues that we might be deeply rooted from our childhood. So just make sure that you love life. You love yourself and also forgive anything from your past so it's a good time for my cancers to start healing for the next two weeks um and kind of letting go um but i feel like you guys are still in that healing period you guys have really been going through a rough time lately with figuring out where your relationships are going and who's coming in and when they're coming back and i just feel like the next two weeks is a really important time for you guys to start healing but at the same time you know, remaining in your own strength. Um, don't be over-reliant on anyone. Don't feel like your, your situation is um, limited because you do, we do have choices. So the Oracle Angel card for, uh, for my Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising is joy. And this is about just allowing yourself to feel and live in the moment of joy. So if this new energy does come in, let's put that there, the fool. Okay, so if that new energy does come in, go ahead and just allow that joy to be, you know, have an open mind and open heart to be in the mindful state of receiving this joy. Okay, Cancers, thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Again, my information is listed below if you'd like a private reading. Love and light to everyone.